Hey guys, in this how to mod video, we're going to cover one of my favorite games of 2015, XCOM 2. Now this is going to be a multi-part video. We're going to go through such things as Nexus Mod Manager, Manual Installs, and the Steam Workshop. And we're going to wrap up the video with how to alter a mod to your own personal preference, where the files are, you know, just to make it easier for everyone involved. So let's go ahead and jump right into modding with Nexus Mod Manager. Hey guys, here we are at the Nexus webpage. Now I decided to use Long War Studios Perk Pack as the example mod for the installation process with Nexus Mod Manager. So let's go ahead, click on over the files and we're just going to go ahead and download with Manager. So let's go ahead and just continue with the download real quick and it should pop Nexus Mod Manager open. So here we are down here and boom, it's installed. We can go ahead and click on it. It is complete, it is in your game, and ready to go. So now that we have the mod installed, we're going to go ahead and take a peek of where the heck Nexus Mod Manager put the thing, because it's always a good idea to know where these mods go. And to answer that, let's go ahead and go over to our XCOM 2 main folder. You're going to go ahead and navigate over to uh, XCOM game, this one right here. And right here in mods, if you open that up, boom, there it is right there. So this is the directory where Nexus Mod Manager will install all the mods for your game. So that's it, it's actually pretty simple. All right, let's take a quick look now of how the Steam Workshop works. Here we are at the Steam Workshop. Now before we get into downloading a file, I just wanna let you guys know, if you want to use the Workshop and Nexus Mod Manager in tandem, you can. Just make sure you don't download the same mods because they install them in completely different locations. So if you do that, you're going to have some problems. In fact, you're going to have pretty big problems. And as usual, just know the mods you're installing. Make sure there's no conflicts. Uh, usually the mod author at the bottom of the mod will tell you what it changes. And you know, as I said in many times before, quality over quantity. You don't need a bunch of mods to make the game better. But moving on, let's go ahead and just click on the top rated of all time. And let's go with Captain Bub's Accessories Pack, a must-have mod. I always have this. It's an amazing set. And click subscribe. And there you go. It's downloading the mod, and then it will install it. And that's pretty much it for the Steam Workshop. It's very, very, very easy to use. You don't need any kind of external program. And it pretty much does it all for you, and it will keep the mod updated. And for a game like XCOM 2, that's not really a bad thing. So now we're going to look at the install location for your Steam Workshop mods and compare that to that of Nexus Mod Manager. So we're going to go ahead and just open up Windows Explorer here. And what you need to do is you need to go to the drive where this particular Steam game is installed. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your Steam folder. So here we go, we go into Steam games, then you go to Steam apps. Now at this point, as you notice, one of the directories is called Workshop. That is where the mod has been installed. So you go ahead and click on that, you go to content, and then you have these funny numbers sitting there staring you in the face, and you're like, what the heck is this? How am I supposed to know what number the darn game is? That is where the Steam Workshop becomes a little more meh than Nexus Mod Manager, because Nexus Mod Manager is very easy to find the mod. And so we have these numbers here, and we're trying to figure out which one is XCOM 2? There's two of them there. Am I supposed to just guess? Do I start clicking folders until I find a word I recognize? Well, I guess you could do that, but if you have a lot of mods, that could take you quite a bit amount of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into uh, Steam here, and we're going to go back to the workshop. So you're probably wondering why I don't see any of those numbers here on the workshop. You're going to have to see the little banner here. Just click on it, go to copy link address. And go ahead and open your web browser. And what you're going to do is just paste the address there. And there you go. You see the numbers there? 268500. This right here. And if we go back to our folder here, we'll, we'll see that we do have uh, 268500. You can go ahead and close this. So we know that this one is XCOM 2. And then you're like, oh my freaking lord, another darn number. And this one's even longer than the last one. Now, when you have a lot of mods, this is going to be a lot of numbers to be staring at. And it's not going to be that fun. So let's go ahead and click here. Let's go to subscribed items. There we go, Captain Bub's accessory pack. Copy link address. Let's pop back into our browser, paste, and there you go. See those that long ass number at the end? Well, that's your mod. Now when you have a lot of them, you're probably like, holy crap, that's a lot of numbers to try to remember or write down and go through the list to try to find. Me personally, I usually look at the first three and the last three. 
once I got those numbers in my brain, then I can, now we can close this. Now I, then I go to my list and I find the one that starts with a 618, 618, okay, 618 and ends in a 388. I can open it up, our mod is located. So let's go ahead and click that close. All right, now we're gonna jump into um, how to manually install a mod. And here we are back at the Nexus and we're gonna go ahead and manually install configurable timers mod. Now, this is also the mod that we're gonna use as an example of how to modify a mod. Now, not every mod will be modifiable, especially the ones with graphics or the more intensive mods like the Long War Studios ones. And it's best that you don't. For now, we're just gonna manually install this bird. So let's go ahead and click on download manually and it's pretty small so it'll be pretty quick okay let's open it up and there you go configurable mission timers if we click into it we can see all the rigmarole needed let's close this and you're probably wondering where do i put that well it's like nexus mod manager it goes in the same spot xcom game mods right there and go ahead and just drag it right in and you're good to go but you want to modify it it's always good to read the mod author's page before you attempt to modify it. That being said, let's go ahead and jump back into the Nexus. Let's uh, scroll down to it here in my Nexus list. Alright, and let's go ahead and find it real quick. Mission. Bow, bow, timers right there. Boom. And let's see if he says anything about editing it. Here we go. By default, the mod simply adds four turns to every timer. But there are a lot of examples in the INI file to help you with your own personal configuration. It even tells you nicely which file it is and where to find it if you have Steam. Because Steam is a pain in the butt. So we're going to go ahead and navigate over to that file. Click click. And what was it called? It was called XCOM Tactical Mission Timers INI. Let's go to config. Right here, Tactical Mission Timers INI. You don't want to mess with any of these. Just what they tell you that you can change. He gives you all these nice examples of what you can do to change the value. Here, by default, the value is 4, but there are a lot of varieties that you can use. This one right here, add 1 turn plus 0 to 2 random turns for all missions. And if you want to use that, what you're going to want to do is use a semicolon to cancel the line out so it is not uh, used. Backspace to enable this one. That's all you need to do, guys, right there. That's changed. We're going to go ahead and close it. You can save it if you want. Close it out, you can close this out, you can close this darn thing out, and you can finally get in and kick some butt in XCOM 2. Alright guys, that's it for this video. That's everything you need to know to get in and mod XCOM 2. If you have any questions, please pose them below. I'll be glad to uh, get back to you if I know the answer. And if I don't know the answer, I will try to make something up just to make it sound like I do. Alright guys, this is Talem. Enjoy XCOM 2. I know I do. And remember, Commanders... XCOM isn't just a game, it's practice.